Okay then, so today's video is going to be on uh, these Tridonic drivers. Uh, these, are, these are LED drivers and they're similar to ones that we use at work. Uh, just give you a bit of information here. They're 20 watt drivers uh, with Dali on them. Uh, so they can be part of a, a lighting control network. Uh, the Dali lighting control network. But they also have, it also has a couple of other features as well. So you can either have Dali, DSI, switch dim, or corridor function, which is which are all quite clever features. I'm going to be demonstrating the switch dim today, which is similar to what my office lights, which aren't currently in the ceiling at the moment because they're here, um, are wired up for with the LCM that's above the the ceiling and the loft that's switched in for in here but these do it a lot better so I'm thinking about swapping that out for these to see how it goes so basically uh, this is the first one and that's your end of line here so we've got 230 in which is the black wire at the bottom and we've got 230 linked out to the next light driver here and then the orange is uh, the Dali pair which in this case is only a switch dim and here we've got yeah I did the colours the wrong way around it doesn't really make a difference so you've got neutral linked over to Dali neutral and then your live goes into a push to make switch or a retractable switch and then the output of that goes into the live of the Dali pair and then that's just a link through to that one so that when I trigger that switch the lights come on and if I press it again lights go off now if I press and hold it they will dim on I could press and hold again they'll dim down a bit press and hold it again they'll dim back up press and hold it again they'll dim down dim up a little bit dim it down all the way and turn it off and the best thing about these drivers is now that I've turned it off if I press that again it remembers the dim that it was set at which I think is quite clever so I just wanted to just share this video uh, for that reason because I think these are, these are pretty clever drivers they cost £50 each so they're not cheap uh, but obviously they're, they're, for, they're for LEDs and LED drivers aren't cheap anyway but with these having the, the Dali built into them that's what makes them expensive, the Dali bit, but it's also got all the dimming functionalities as well, which is why they're expensive. Um, the lights, the actual LEDs that I'm using, are made by Luxonic. They're the VLED 100s. As you see, this one says it on the sticker there, VLED 100. Uh, they don't actually make these particular models anymore, for some reason, that they don't have the... Uh, the model number in their catalogues anymore uh, they've got a, another one which is similar so I'm gonna have to order a couple more of those because I, I want to put four lights in the ceiling in here one in each corner because two is just not enough for uh, it's just covering the room it's just not enough uh, so I'll probably have to get a couple more of these as well unless I just opt for two 50 watt versions instead and then I can put two lights on each driver because each lights 14 watts so I can't really put two lights on one of these drivers with these only being 20 watt because well too much wattage whereas if I was to get two 50 watt drivers obviously I could put two of these on because it would only be 28 volts yeah, 28 watts even which is about just over half of the wattage for the driver and it would all be cool so that, that was all this video was about just to show you a uh, switch dim I'll um I think I've already made a video of the LCM that's actually in the office for switch dim in here. Uh, so I'll have a check and if I haven't then I'll just do a quick video on that as well just to show you the difference between the two. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you liked the video.